What is up you guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your girl MJ. Today I'm going to take you to the gym with me and we are going to do a full body workout. So let's get dressed and let's get to the gym. All right, so for the top, I'm going to wear this guy. Since I got a nice tan over the weekend, we are going to wear this guy with some shorts. Um, let's see. Hi, Gymshark. Shorts I like. We want to be comfortable um, because we're doing a full body workout, so we are going to hit some legs. These ones are too bootylicious, so... Actually, that would actually be kind of cute. Let's do that. Super cute. Okay. We'll be bootylicious today. Fine by me. I'm not mad at that one. I guess it depends on what shoes we're going to wear. So for a full body workout, we want something comfortable definitely on our feet because we'll probably be doing some jumping. Thinking, I do love these. These are my favorite. Oh, they kind of match my nails. So we can do white, green, or the reds. Let's see which fit looks cutest. Those greens look good. The whites. This is the one I'm going for with some white socks. So let's get changed. We ready for the gym. Let's do it. Awesome, so we're all dressed and got my bag, my gym bag, which I need a new one because it's just, I just need a new one. Um, so let's do a quick little what's in my gym bag. What's in my gym bag? Sliders. Love to use sliders for stretching. Um, great. I've got my Kegel, Kegel, cable kickback band ankle strap. So cute. Love the army. I've got some booty bands. I've got my... Um, deadlift, wrist straps, obby lock, my headphones, waist trainer slash cardio waist um, little wrap. I don't use it a lot, so that's actually going to stay home. Water bottle, but I have a different one I'm going to use. Jump rope. Used to be big into jump rope, but lately my goals have been trying to gain weight and some awesome resistance bands. Love these, love those. They come with little hand straps and stuff. All of this stuff I got on Amazon, all of it. All of these my dad gave me, but, um, and these, yeah. So yeah. We've got all of our gym stuff. We are gonna do a full body workout. So some stuff that I'm going to use is definitely the booty bands, my lock, my headphones, cable kickback, cable kickback strap. Um, we could do some deadlifts. Mm, I'll bring the sliders, jump rope just in case, and I'll bring these bands as well. So. We've got our goods. So in this little magical box, I have all of my workouts, all of my exercises in here because there's just so many awesome exercises that I just can't keep in my brain. So I wrote them all down and I'm going to pick a few exercises, my favorite ones and we are gonna do them. So yeah, um, I'm gonna pick some exercises out of my exercise box. Hey, Bankers. Hi, Honey Bun Bun Bunners. Hi, Sugar Booger. He knows I'm leaving. He's not coming. 
So out of my little box of exercises, I am going to choose some of my favorites for you guys and we're gonna do them and we're gonna do a full body workout and it's gonna be amazing. And I just, I love going to the gym with a plan so you're not distracted. Write down your exercises in your notes, wherever, on your phone, and just kill it. That's the easiest way to get shit done at the gym. All right, we are ready. We had our oatmeal and banana this morning. We are drinking a gallon of water today because it is supposed to get up to 105 degrees out here in Utah. Yeah, so I'm actually just bringing this little guy, but drink your water, stay hydrated. We've got our exercises. We've got a tummy full of food. We've got our outfit on, we're ready to work hard. It's a beautiful day. Um, got all my exercises. We're gonna do one exercise per body part. So we're gonna do a full body workout. And yeah, got our water. We drank some coffee this morning. We may stop for a little energy drink. We'll see. I love rains. And since it's a special occasion and I'm gonna show you my workout, I got a energy drink. So I don't do them all the time, but when I'm really trying to get some energy going, I will get a little something, something. So I love the peach and the mango. This is the peach. Um, so yeah, bottoms up, bitches. All right, so for every exercise, we are pairing it with another exercise, and that is called a superset. So for our first superset, we are doing cable front squats, shown here. Goal is to get 10 to 12 reps. I believe I get 10 reps on these, and our next exercise, I was getting 12 reps. So goal is to get 10 to 12 reps, and this is our quad exercise for today. Get ready to feel the burn. So for our second exercise in our superset, we are doing the cable rope tricep pushdowns, shown here. Again, the goal is 10 to 12 reps. I believe I crank out 12 reps in this exercise, and this is one of my favorite tricep exercises. And this completes our first set of our superset. All right, set two of our superset, doing the cable front squats. You wanna get your feet shoulder width apart. You wanna keep your eyes forward, head straight. Upper body is pretty firm and solid. And at the top of it, you're gonna squeeze your buns. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You're breathing out during the hard work part of the exercise. So squeeze at the top. Okay, second exercise of our second set of our super set. I know that's a mouthful, but our tricep extensions. Same, you wanna keep your feet shoulder width apart, little bend in the knees, and my elbows, pretend like there's a nail from my elbow into my side. My elbow is gonna stay locked right there, and I'm gonna squeeze, squeeze that tricep. Really think about that tricep doing all of the work. You want that to be your prime mover. All right, and so set three of our superset of our last exercises are not shown, so make sure you do them at home. And now we are on to the next exercise. For this one, we are not pairing this with another exercise. It is just going to be our cable squat to a cable kickback as shown. And we are going to be doing 10 reps each leg, and we're going to be cranking out our three sets. So a squat to a cable kickback equals one rep. We are doing 10 reps per leg, three sets total. This is my hamstring and glute exercise for today. So once we are done with these, we are done with legs for today. So you're welcome. This is such an amazing workout. I honestly just discovered this a little bit ago. And every time I do legs, I try to incorporate this in my, my routine, but it's just a burner. Um, Doing the squat with the kickback together is just amazing. So again, when you're doing the squat, try to get those feet shoulder width apart and you're breathing in, breathing out on the exercise and really try to get a squeeze at the top. I'm not trying too hard right now because my main focus is the cable kickback, trying to target those glutes. And with the glute exercise, the cable kickback, try to get a nice little bend in the knee. You don't wanna hurt your knee doing these. Um, a moderate weight, not too heavy, um, because it is an interesting movement, but it's a great exercise to target those glutes. All right, so once you've completed those three sets, 
of cable kickbacks and the squats, you will have accomplished 30 reps of cable kickbacks on each leg and I believe 60 squats alone on this exercise. So once we are done with this, you are done with legs for today and we are moving on to the upper body. And I just can't stress enough for each exercise we're going to do today, really focus on your breathing. Breathing in, breathing out during the hard part of the exercise to really create that force and um, also really focus on the muscle that is working. You really wanna target that muscle and have that mind-body connection. Another superset. So for this superset, we are doing cable lat pull downs paired with seated cable rows. Shown here are the cable lat pull downs and we are trying to get eight to 10 reps per set. So this is set one of our three sets to our superset. I know you guys are tracking what I'm saying. So exercise one, exercise two is right here and this is our seated cable row. So with these, we are trying to get 10 to 12 reps. And once we are finished with this, that completes our first set of the superset. This exercise is my back exercise for today. And I try to go moderate to heavy just because I'm really trying to build up my back a bit. I've had some shoulder issues and a little bit of elbow issues. So I try not to go too crazy with it. I just listen to my body and do what I think is best. So once we are finished with this, we are on a set two, bringing it back to our cable lat pull downs. Again, we are cranking out 10 to 12 reps on this exercise. This exercise targets your lats. Ladies, do you want to create that hourglass shape to your body? Doing exercises that target your lats will create that hourglass shape. And this is my favorite lat slash back exercise. So really get that stretch in your shoulders, pull it down right to that chest plate, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and out. Get to that chest plate right there, feel that stretch in your lats and there you go. Again, getting 10 to 12 reps. With these, you could do a close grip like I'm doing or you could even do a wide grip. There's a few variations with this exercise. Regardless, you want to squeeze that back at the top, bring that grip to your chest and squeeze. Make sure your upper body is nice and firm, your core is engaged and keep a nice flat back. You can do it nice and slow and squeeze at the top or you could do a pump and really crank out some reps like I do at the end. These finish our set two of our superset and we've got one last set to our superset with our lat pull downs trying to get a different angle for you guys. If anyone wants to be my videographer in Utah, just shoot me a message because I can really use a workout partner slash videographer for these videos. I'm really trying to get the angles here, but this is the last exercise shown from this superset. So with the lat pull downs, really get that stretch in your lats. And once you pull down to your chest plate, try to squeeze that back. There's a penny quarter trick where when you squeeze your back, you should be able to hold a coin. So mentally, think about squeezing and holding a coin after every rep. Set three of our seated cable rows is not shown, so make sure you do it at home, and that completes our superset. I've got two more exercises to show you, and this is our dumbbell shoulder press. So for the dumbbell shoulder press, I like to do these seated so I can keep a nice flat back engage my core and really focus on my shoulders and my upper body pushing the way up breathing in on the way down and breathing out on the way up remember you're breathing out during the hard part of the exercise this is set two of three of our shoulder press in our last superset of the day we will be pairing this with dumbbell bicep curls set one of our bicep curls is not shown but set two will be shown shortly so we'll be doing the dumbbell shoulder press right into the dumbbell bicep curls. Right here, I am doing the wide grip bicep curls. You can do hammer curls, you can do alternating curls, um, whichever you prefer. I end up switching over to hammer curls. Same thing, really keep those elbows locked to your side. 
and really focusing on that bicep doing all the work. You really want the bicep doing all of the work. I was able to film all of my shoulder presses, but unfortunately got yapping with a friend during my bicep curls, so those are not shown, unfortunately. But here we are wrapping up our last set of our superset. So make sure you are doing both exercises three times, alternating. So shoulder press, the curls, shoulder press, curls, etc. Last but certainly not least, one of my favorite lower back glute hamstring exercises are Romanian deadlifts. Here I'm going fairly light. I wanted to crank out just a few reps just to show you, but I was running out of time. So here is the Romanian deadlift. I'm getting 10 to 12 reps. We are doing three sets, so just, you know, take a little break after every set and um, then do the next set. So get three sets of these. With the form, you want to get your feet shoulder width apart, hands placed right outside of that stance on the bar. Slight bend in the knees. With Romanian deadlifts, we are keeping those legs fairly straight with that bend in the knee. We want the bend in the knee. We do not want to hurt ourselves and it is crucial that we keep a slight bend in the knee. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up, generating that force to pull the weight up. Engage that core and keep your eyes forward. You want your back and your neck to stay in a fairly straight line. Really think about those glutes pulling the weight up. Then at the top, a light squeeze. Slow on the way down, keeping the bar as close to your legs as possible. This is one of my favorite exercises ever. I will always do deadlifts on leg day. Here's the outro. I'm editing the video as we speak. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I plan to do a lot more workout videos. If you want to see something in particularly specific, you want to see upper body exercises, you want to see targeted areas, exercises for the chest, tries, buys, back, um, I can do it all. I can make lots of videos. Um, I love to work out, as you can see, and um, I am certified, so I got my certification through NASM. And um, so yeah, if you have any questions about the exercises, about how I work out, comment below, let me know, Instagram me. Um, my Instagram is also in the description box, so send me some questions, send me some video ideas, and we'll um, figure it out and we will get it done. So. Um, thanks again for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed this workout. Um, so yeah, I will see you very soon.